Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play more of our campaign as the English in Common Sense, Europe Universalis 4. So I feel like things are kind of maybe swinging in our favor a little bit. We've got money, we're making 10 ducats a month from trade again. We are making positive six and a half ducats, which is way more than we've ever made. Like, ever. Um, interest is coming down as we slowly pay off loans. 2,400 ducats in debt. It's kind of, kind of a lot. We'll take the papal influence, why not? We have right now a, uh, about a 10% chance of becoming the, the guy. Okay, once again someone's died and it's not the guy that I thought it would be. I'm almost tempted to take this national tax modifier guy. I mean, if we have... Let's just do the math real quick. If we make 12.47 after having a bonus of 10% divided by 1.1 um, to get back to the base... We make 11.33 ducats per month. If we add 10% to that, then we'd make 1.13 extra ducats a month. And he costs 1.33. So he would only be losing like 0.17 ducats a month to have this guy. And he would also be giving us monarch points. I think he's worth it. Let's, let's see if I'm right. 5.66. I predict it's going to go down to about 5.5. There we go. Close enough. I mean, the math doesn't have to be perfect. It's roughly how it works. I still wish, Wiz, if you're ever listening, if you, I mean, I, I know you listen occasionally, but I don't know if you're going to see this far into the series, I still wish that they just add one more column to this. Just show the base, then show the modifiers, then show the total. Like, the base is what's important when considering any pop-up that affects the increase. Because if it shows 20%, you're not going to raise this by 10%. You're going to raise the base by 10%. Does that make sense? Am I speaking crazy talk? I might be. But we should see the base. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, man. Relax. Just talking. Just a dude. Playing video games. Talking. A lot. That's what I do. <laughs> I talk. I'm gonna be quiet for a minute. Oh, jeez. I just talked myself into my own my own punishment. My own, my, like, my own silence. Alright, so. Oh my god, war exhaustion. Below four... Almost below three. What in the heck are we going to do? I'm going to have to uh, lower autonomy or something just to give ourselves a re rebel challenge or something. Lothian doesn't seem to have any issues. I know, I know, I know. People probably want me to look around the map a bit. That's something... I, I, I'll promise you this. If they ever fix the game so that it doesn't run poorly, then I will look around the map more. But until then, the game doesn't run well, and I'm not gonna, I don't look around the map very much because it lags. It sucks. It, like, it, it needs to not be, look at the choppiness. It frustrates me. Um. I don't know. You can't say it's my hardware. I don't believe it. It's not my hardware. I tested everything I possibly could. It's not. It's not the hardware. Alright, the Papal State loves us. Cool. Hey, it's Statesman. Those are kind of kind of useful. Oh, he, he got nerfed. He used to be plus two. Now he's only plus one. You're a loser, Henry. You know, we're near as good as you used to be. So, because we have such good relations with the Pope, then the Popacy, the Pope Potpourri, Popery, Popery, like that thing, you know, the bowl that looks like like plants. Anyway, we gain three papal influence per year now. It's pretty cool. Tolerates lollards is maybe not so good, but. Mm, yeah. The English tolerates the Lollard Heresy, which is an affront to the Holy See. Yeah, it's rather rude of me, isn't it? Well, let's get our tech 6, and then... How much longer do we have this tech reduction? Until 76. Perfect. So we should be able to knock out these two techs, then switch focus to Diplomatic, since we're already ahead of time on it, and then we'll power through a Diplomatic Idea Group, which is pretty much going to have to be trade. I mean, we just don't have enough money. We need money. Money, money, money. If we had money, we could build buildings in every single holding. Money is like... I think I think our perceptions of money need to change for this patch. Because it used to be that money was never the bottleneck. Money was... Um, you know, money was nice, but it was always monarch points. And so you're always trying to turn money into monarch points. And I think you still want to turn money into monarch points, but... I have a feeling, just looking at the price of some of these buildings, that... Money is going to be a bottleneck in this game. I and mean, if you really want to have a really fancy-ass fortress, you need a lot of money. 
I don't think there's going to come a time where you have too much money. No, Tyrone. Sit. Settle down. You're going to be integrated and you're going to like it. I never did get an answer, or never did solve the problem myself, I mean, about the, uh... Why Gascon never went up higher to 9.9. .9, higher than 9.9. .9. You know, we could look at the ledger. There's a page. It's like a bar graph. Not a bar graph, a... One of these things. I thought this actually showed the, uh, provinces. Whatever. Doesn't matter. There is a parliament thing that reduced, uh... Accepted culture threshold. But at this time, now that we've gotten them to no longer be accepted, we actually have to get them above 20%, which is very unlikely to happen. Our truce with Castile is up. It is 1469. I think we could change our rival. Yeah, in November we could. I think we need to. For the sake of living. I cannot fight another war against Burgundy, France, and Castile. Like, that is just a bad idea. It's going to cost me dipple points to change, but you know what? Sometimes mistakes are made and you got to pay for them. So we're going to pay for them. You can build buildings. Really? We can afford buildings? No, we can't. That's crazy talk. Is there any more local trade power modifier things? This one is a 25% modifier. I mean, it would be best served on provinces that already have lots of trade power. So, estuaries. So, this one, maybe. But before we do that, let's pay off loans. Oh my god! The war exhaustion's going away. Goods produced is going up. We're making money. Tech 6. Yay. Did we beat France to Tech 6? We did not. How about Castile? Yay, we did! Burgundy, no. We beat it. We beat it. Beaten. We've beaten them. Castile, you've been beaten. Alright, we better train a few troops just so that we don't look weak. And draw the attention of some guy. Like that guy. And it's funny, in the beginning of the game, I kept my forts going, like, and even in peace. Now it's like, I'm so freaking poor, I've got to turn them all off. Every single one. Ugh. It's rough, man. But I have to say, I would rather... Mercenaries? Why the hell are we paying for mercenaries? There should be a pop-up. There should be a... Okay, mark this. I'm gonna go mark this. One second. I need to write this down. No, it's not under things to do. It's under... Rumors Adjustments 3.0. List number three. Okay. Item number ten. When at peace... Should be... An alert for... Active mercenaries. It should just be one. I mean, if you want to turn it off, that's fine. You can disable it, you can hide it, whatever. But there should be an alert for when you have active mercenaries and you're at peace. Because the only reason you hire mercenaries is because you're screwed and you're desperate. You certainly don't want them at war. When you're not at war. I think that that's pretty reasonable. Brabant is embargoing us. Brabant, are you, like... Are you guys cheating again? No. Hey, Brabant doesn't have a truce with me. It wouldn't surprise me if they were cheating. It's just something that they do. Alright, well, we got the military tech. Let's change our focus to Diplo. Start not... Oh, man. That's not good. It's okay, though. Our heir has really strong military strength. She'll, she'll get us where we need to be. Of course, this low legitimacy is not going to be any fun. I am very excited to actually power through a couple ideas. Heavy ship combat ability. That'll be nice. Brabant, would you stop it? You know, I should probably be the one to declare war on Burgundy. I should use the, uh, the trade thing. And then that way I could... make it about something... Like, I don't want it to be about pick, uh, about Calais or Picardy or whatever, something that they have a claim on, because then it's hard for me to defend. And I could probably take the core back by blockades. Clearly, I have naval superiority. The problem is he's allied with Castile. 
Well, it is July. Let's wait a few more months to see if we can change our arrival. Production efficiency. Free slot. Definitely gonna go trade. It might be boring. I, pro I know I've done it over and over and over again, but... It's just the best possible choice. It really is. I think. Based on our situation, we need money. Need the money. So with that global trade power increase, we should make a little bit more money next month. Rabant just cannot decide if it wants to embargo us or not. Yeah, 0.6 ducats, that's not bad. So if I declare that war on Brabant, where the hell's Brabant? He's in here somewhere. And then the Overlord takes over. I wonder if um, I'd still be able to use that same peace deal stuff. Burgundy, you're so indecisive, you bastard. I mean, how hard would it be for me to win a war? So if I declare on Brabant, Burgundy calls in their allies, which includes Castile. Castile would come in and wreck this down here. Hey, we finally lost that advisor. Hmm. We can't afford a level 2. It's part of the reason why we have such low power point projection. Sir, what? Point generation. My god. So Denmark has stopped rivaling Burgundy. They'd still accept an alliance, and we do have available relationship slots, so it's rather silly to not have an ally. If we can have one. You're at 190. Let's see if we can start integrating you now. Also, um, can we change our rival from Castile? Removing them will cost 100 Diplo power. Let's wait for just a moment. I'm gonna annex you. This is unfortunate that we're doing this right now, but I need to get rid of them. Four points per month. Should we maybe hire the Diplo rep guy? Just to make it faster. So that'll free up that relationship. Um, yeah, I'm gonna. Um, I'm just gonna unrival them. They might still hate, hate me for a while, but I'm gonna do it. So we're gonna say yes. No more Castile. <laughs> Castile's the only option. Now we're gonna get a pop up saying you have too few rivals. You need to pick a rival. What do you want? An alliance offer from Portugal. Alright, yeah. Sure. Accept. You're friends with Castile, right? Yeah, you are. Let's all be friends. Let's be bestest friends, okay? Castile, I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to wrong you. Let's be buddies. We both hate France. Let's let's unify behind our our hatred of France. Does that sound fair? Yeah, Doro became a vassal. Burgundy's declared war on Liège. Nevers has uh, done stuff. Austria have honored their alliance. Royal marriage with Portugal? Sure. We'll stay buddies. Hey, Austria, we're supposed to be friends, but I can't offer it to you. At least I wasn't allowed to earlier because of our... our stuff and things. Let's gain some papal influence? Sure. Alright, so that puts us at 3 out of 4. If we get Castile, we'll be at 4 out of 4, but we're getting rid of, um... We're getting rid of Tyrone. So Burgundy's declared war on the Emperor. I could either offer an alliance to Austria, and then get called in, and then just, you know, cause problems for Burgundy, and which would be good, because I'd get a truce, and then they couldn't embargo us and all that stuff. Or, I could just declare my own war on them. But if we do that, then Castile gets to help. What if we wait, hope that Austria wins, Austria wins, and they annul their treaties, they annul Burgundy's treaties with Castile. If they do that, then we just step in, we, we attack, attack Burgundy. 
So yeah, I think we just wait. Besides, we have another nine months or so of war exhaustion to get rid of. Bavaria will leave... Wow, Salzburg taking land. Salzburg, little old one, one province Salzburg. He's probably going to have a coalition against himself now, because he took so much land. Or maybe not. Hmm. I'm shocked. Wow, we're at negative prestige, and we're still losing prestige. Because of un uncontested course. That's, they are contested. They're my course. Burgundy's just babysitting them. Can I please have a different rival? I'll, I'll rival nearly anyone else. So far, trade doesn't really feel much different than the previous patch, but that's probably just because I'm not playing down here. So money can go into Sevilla three ways, and it only goes out to Genoa. So once the money gets to Sevilla, it's gone. I can't do anything with it. So that means that I'll need to have really good trade range down here so that I can force it away from Sevilla into either Bordeaux or just directly into English Channel. We will repay the loan. We will recall the diplomat. Come on, we don't need to be enemies anymore, Castile. Don't be so stubborn. Stop being such a negative Nancy. No force limit available. France has embargoed us. We no longer have a truce. They're still allied with all the things. I'm scared that they're going to attack. Just the fact that they don't have a truce means I think we need to re-up the forts even though we need money. Do forts cost more based on inflation? I would say no, because we have 6.4% inflation, and yet they're costing exactly one ducat, or 0.5 ducats. So it looks like forts are not affected by inflation, which is probably an oversight. Because everything else in the game is affected by inflation. Hmm. Yes, yes, I know. Brabant can't make up its mind because Burgundy can't make up its mind. Okay, so we can do that thing again where we turn Portugal on Castile, but I don't think Portugal can win that war. I'd really rather that Austria just win their war. Of course, if I join the war on their behalf, they're more likely to win. And I'm pretty likely to get Picardy back. Of course, letting Burgundy babysit it means they might be dumb enough to upgrade the development. <laughs> Which would be wonderful. Because then we would end up having, uh, you know, more stuff. Hmm. Bosnia and Serbia still exist, which I find strange. Albania still exists, which I find very strange. Um, why do you still exist, Albania? Hmm. Okay, Scotland is now peaceful. Or they're not. They're no, no longer hostile. The problem is that they won't accept vassalization until we get much, much stronger. I mean, their base tax is... Oh, I wonder how that works now. That formula is probably ruined. It used to be up to 40 base tax, but now I have no idea. Three development, six. So that's 19. Wait, three, nine, 19, 31, 41. 41 development. And it says... Negative 49. I have no idea what the formula is.
I still think it'd probably be better. Like, I'd rather... Okay. We can always go the aggressive route. And the problem is right now, if I wanted to, to do it, like, aggressively, I have to fight France, so... Well, why don't we go peaceful? They're probably always going to be wanting to turn on me, but... They view us with distrust. <laughs> well, of course they do. We took their capital. Okay, so we've got our alliance. Uh, sure, let's just solidify this thing. Royal marriage, why not? I want your trade power too, absolutely. Hell yeah, it's mine. Considering you're in a node that's directly upstream from the node that I'm trying to take money from. Ooh, a commandant, cool. Shall we do anything else first, like the proclaimed guarantee, so we can maybe eke out just a little tiny bit more protection, a little bit more power? Well, I'm going to do it now so I don't forget about it. Even though we could get maybe a few more points. Get 40% of their trade power. It's going to help. Transfer some traders downstream. This will probably update next month. Should say something about Scotland. Yep, 7.8 trade power. And more importantly, not only do we gain it, but they lose it. So, that's even less trade power. It's going to keep the money up there. So, trade income should go up. 11.18. It's not bad. I think we're going to want that discipline guy for the next war. Scotland has ally honored their alliance with East Frisia. East Frisia has grown. Who the hell is Verdan? Verdan. Never heard of them before. It must be new. Interesting. Cool. Well, um... Yeah. Well, I was... Take a break here. We will keep on paying off debt. Naples will cede Abruzzi, Napoli, Bari, Lucania, Salerno, and Capit Capitanata to the Papal State. Good lord, papacy. It's a big chunk. Yeah, we have zero war exhaustion. And only owe 2,200 ducats. So at this rate... 2200 divided by 8.2. That's 268 months divided by 12 months in a year. 22 years of debt. It's a long time. I'm not going to say it's not. But if we go to war with Burgundy and we take their trade power or something, then it could go well. Alright, I'm going to take a break here. See you again soon.